Hi everyone, I'm Dr. Rachel Eva Dew and I am a doctor of natural medicine. And I know that a lot of you are really concerned about your immune system right now, so I wanted to just pop on and share with you a few simple things that you can do to increase your natural immune system and immune function. So first and foremost, let's talk about stress because stress is one of the biggest negative influencers or impactors to our immune system and immune function. Now, I know that it's a very stressful time right now. We're undergoing a lot of transitions right now, and we don't necessarily know or can control everything around us. So one of the things that we can control is absolutely how we're responding to the different daily stressors and stressful information that we're coming across in social media and through television and news. So when you are experiencing all of these stressors inundating you, it's even more important to up your mindfulness. Things like meditation, breathing exercises, and getting a full eight hours of sleep every single night is really gonna support and optimize your immune system function right now. Another thing that's hugely important is to limit or reduce the amount of stressors to your immune system through what you're eating and what you're drinking, um, I know that we might be wanting to reach for comfort foods right now, but I think it's really important to be intentional about supporting our body and our immune system through what we're putting in our bodies right now. So reducing or limiting the amount of alcohol that you're intaking, um, trying to avoid carbonated drinks and beverages like sodas, um, trying to limit or reduce the amount of caffeine we're intaking, and also the amount of refined sugar. So eating those cookies, you know, one cookie here and there might be great for your emotional well-being and enjoyment, but let's try not to be eating a ton of refined sugar every day because that's gonna stress your immune system and definitely decrease its function. The other thing that really has a negative impact on our immune system is processed foods, things that come in cans, pre-cooked, pre-packaged, and I know that um, access to good food right now is more limited than it normally is. So uh, one of the great resources that I love is um, farmfreshtou.com and they deliver fresh produce to your doorstep that's organic. You don't even have to leave your house. If you're not in Southern California, that resource isn't available to you, but there's a lot of other local farmers markets and CSAs that are delivering right now or that you're able to go out to and get and source fresh organic clean produce. So eating lots of fresh fruits and veggies right now as much as you possibly can and trying to prepare your own meals using whole ingredients as much as possible. So the other thing is stay properly hydrated. Stay properly hydrated. If you think of your body the way uh, you would think of a car, if you don't have enough oil in your car, it starts to um, affect every single part of the car, every system, the engine, the brakes, every single part of your car is not gonna function properly until it finally breaks down. Well, being properly hydrated has that same effect. When you're properly hydrated, all of your different systems and organs can function optimally, including your immune system. So make sure that you are drinking plenty of water, Again, de-stressing, practicing that mindfulness, eating as clean as possible, and um, also you can add in some supportive supplements, things like L-lysine, zinc, elderberry, uh, vitamin C, vitamin D, love those for your immune system. And also if you check out my blog at rachelevaonline.com, I recently posted a number of other different supplements and go into the specifics of more immune support there. Thanks and be well. Take care, guys.